Good day, everyone. Here's what we're doing right now. This video, uh, just to clarify a few things, uh, the first portion of it will be uh, bolts, a test, bolts versus RPM. I'm going to use 65 RPM and I'm going to double it to 130 and um, you're going to realize that, you know what, at uh, 65 RPM we're going to have 11 volts DC and uh, 130, 22 volts DC. Hey, it doubles up. Exactly doubles up and we'll show how that happens there. But uh, when it comes to watts versus RPM test, and I had a 12 volt light bulb, at um, 65 RPM gives me 6 volts, 5.5 amp, and it's 33 watts. Well, we'll double the RPM. What would that be? Double the wattage? Not necessarily. No. Actually, no. Period. So it gives me 14.65, 9.2 amps, and it's 135 watts out of double the RPM. So it's four times the amount. Hmm. No load. I get exact voltage. Oh, let's see how this works. So 65 RPM, it's given me 11 volts, no load, there's no load. So now let's uh, increase it to 130 RPM, see what voltage what we get. One hundred and thirty RPM. Oh, you can see that one thirty RPM. It's giving me what? Look down there. Twenty-two volts, exactly the double. Okay. Now this next test, we're gonna put a load on it. At 65 RPM, under load, I have 6 volts down there and 5.4, 5 5.45 for that's what that is right there, right? 6 volts, 5.5 amp. 33 watt. So now let's increase it to 130 RPM and see what would happen to the wattage. Okay, 130 RPM with a 12 volt light bulb load. What do we have down there? 14.4. So I have it here, 14.65. And what's the amperage? 9.13, I have it 9.12. That's a previous test, but anyway, it's just very, very uh, realistic numbers here are the same simple so that concludes that you double the RPM you could with my setup with my setup 
to quadruple the uh, the output of water. Now, what would that prove? Uh, it proves that uh, my setup is working the way I want it to work. Scientifically, an equation, uh, there's all kinds of equations that you can calculate to get what you want from a stator before you resin it by calculating each coil's output. Um, anyway, it's a complicated design or a testing method and all kinds of information out there to help others to come to their stator design or output. This is obviously an axle flux and uh, rotor, voltage meter, amp meter. Don't do that at home. Okay, I hope this helps some of you. Bye now.